Hey everyone, let's solve the today's lead code challenge which is Diagonal Traverse 2. So here in this problem, we are given a 2D integer array nums and we have to return, return all the elements of nums in the diagonal order fashion like this. Let's have a look on this example. So if this uh, 2D array is given to us, we have to return this. 1 and then for the second diagonal, it should be in this direction. From 4 to 2 which is 4 2 for, for third diagonal it should be like this 7 5 3 7 5 3 then 8 and 6 8 6 then 9 okay so let's try to analyze for the first diagonal it is 0 comma 0 element only and let's say if it is a 0th level or maybe 0th diagonal it is equal to the sum of i plus j let's try to understand using second diagonal for the second diagonal elements are 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 if we do the sum of i plus j it is equal to 1 so for the first diagonal it is some diagonal value can be 0 let's say its diagonal value is 1 it is the second diagonal it is the third diagonal it is 4 diagonal 0 1 2 3 4 okay so firstly we have to sort sort on the basis of diagonals and after that after that how do we sort that these three sets how are these sorted maybe you can say these are sorted on the basis of colon either you can say it is sorted on the basis of colon or you can say 4 then going about 2 7 going up 1 row going up 1 row or maybe decreasing order of row maybe decreasing order of i and increasing order of j so firstly sort on the basis of diagonal in the increasing order and then Maybe you can say sort on the basis of column in the increasing order. Okay, so it's going to be pretty simple now. Just add all of these elements in an array or list and then sort that list on the basis of i plus j first, which is the level. And then maybe j in the increasing order, in the increasing order. If i, i plus j is same, which is we are talking about a specific diagonal in that case columns are increasing for 7 it is 0 for 5 it is 1 for 3 it is 2 like this okay let's now try to write this code we are going to store it in a integer and in a way like firstly we can store the column and then maybe the diagonal value and then the actual value of this okay let's it would be an integer array and then list of integer let's call it list now what we have to do is iterate over this 2d array i equal to 0 i less than num sort size or j equal to 0 j less than num sort get i dot j plus plus okay now we'll add it in our list new integer firstly we are storing column and then its diagonal value the actual value nums dot get i dot get j Okay, now we have stored all of the entries from 2D array in our list. Now we are going to sort it. Collections dot sort list new comparator o11 equal to object2 dot1. If uh, sorry, firstly we will see if the diagonals are same. They belong to the same diagonal. In that case, we are going to store sort on the basis of its column number so return o1 0 minus o2 
so if O10 is 1, it is 2, it is negative, so we are not going to store that, so it is storing in the increasing order. Otherwise, it otherwise store it on the basis of its level. Okay, now as we have sorted this array, new integer list dot i for i equal to zero i less than list dot i is i plus plus result i is equal to list dot get i for ith element we were storing list at the second value which is 2 now we will just return result from it ok iterated over this array added to the list sorted the list and then prepared the result array Try to submit sample test cases are passed. I submitted successfully. Okay. Thank you, guys.